Hello guys, and welcome to the third video. In this video, I will be talking to you about shafts. You might think that this is simple, but there are different types of shafts, and they are used for different things, so I will be explaining that. This is the first shaft. It is just a regular shaft. It has nothing on either end, nothing in the middle, and they're normally black, but I have blue ones since in the last video I told, told you guys that colored colored pieces would probably be better so yeah i have a blue one and this is normally not used in anything but sometimes you'll need them for certain things however the next shaft that i'll be showing you is a lot better in the places that's normally used in this one and that is the cap shaft the cap shaft is pretty much the same thing as an original shaft but it has a cap on the end meaning that it can be inserted into holes on beams and sticks and other things, but it won't be able to go all the way through, which is thus saving you a shaft collar. This is a motor shaft. Motor shafts are very useful for motors. which You don't really need that many of them, but sometimes you do because the varying lengths can help a lot with your design. So what you do is take this beam and then put it onto, let us say here, as you can see, it looks like a cap shaft, but it has a little area extra over here. And that's where you put your motor. Put your motor right here. And the motor shaft will be safe inside. It won't be able to get pulled out. But, in the, but the motor can still spin it. This is the metal shaft. The metal shaft is very long. Some of them are very long. They're like, there's a pack for extra long ones, but some are just relatively short. So these can be used for what it looks like. If you need something that's connecting two long things from here all the way to here, then this metal shaft will be ideal. However, there's the metal shafts, when they're used too much, they produce some white dust and if you lubricate them using WD-40, then it won't be it won't produce as much dust and it won't be squeaky. Sometimes metal shafts can make things squeaky. So if you lubricate them with WD-40, just apply WD-40 along the shaft. It won't be rubbing against beams and it'll be a lot better to your ears. This is a shaft color, one of the greatest Vex IQ things ever. So, if you look very closely, there is a little hole, but there's rubber around it. This rubber allows a shaft to go through, like that. And then, let's just say you put it into this beam. Then, the, as you can see, the shaft won't go through, unless you push on this area, which will cause it to go through the shaft collar. But if you put another one on this side, then the beam will be totally locked in place, which is super useful. Now, this is the reason why I told you that cap shafts were better. As you can see, these shafts currently serve the exact same function, but this shaft saves a shaft color, and there's space here, allowing a wheel, let's just say you need a wheel over here. You can put a wheel up here, but this right here, but this would be kind of in the way. So you would definitely need a cap shaft for most occasions. And you can use a shaft collar for something else that you need, like an arm. These are, all right, these are spacers. So what a spacer does is it puts, puts distance between a beam and a sh distance between a beam and let's just say a gear. So what you do with these, is you take a beam, put in a shaft. Yeah, this is a metal shaft, so. And then you would put, normally you would put a thin spacer, but sometimes you need the space with a thick and thin spacer. That is used for sprockets. Sprockets will be covered later. So you would put a thin spacer in then you would put in a gear. Okay, let me get a gear really quick. You would take a gear, put it in, 
and then another thin spacer. And boom, that's what you need right, right here. So one extremely useful tip is that a shaft collar is about the width of one beam. So if you have a, if you have a shaft right here, put a thin spacer first, obviously, even with shaft collars, and then put the shaft collar on. Now, what if you needed a wheel? So for example, this traction wheel, it would slide in like this, but it would be rubbing against, you can hear it rubbing. It's gonna be very, a lot slower and not as good. So something you might need to do is instead of putting a thin spacer, cause those are too small, put a thick spacer. Thick spacer, then grab the wheel and put it on. And now, see, there's a, ni there's a nice, good distance between. Thanks for watching our shaft video. I hope you learned something new, and I hope you found our tips interesting and useful. Until next time, stay tuned.